Are you serious? Are you serious? Yesterday in my live radio broadcast, and you can watch it live, live streaming at my website, www.paulbegleyprophecy.com, and in, even in participate in the live chat room, or listen to the broadcast on Blog Talk Radio, or on your cell phones if you call the number 347-324-5208, you can listen to the broadcast. But a man called in that works for the federal government. He only identified himself as Mike from around the world, he said. But he did say he was on the government payroll. And he said there was conversation going on that there is not, we're not entering into meteor showers, but we're getting ready to move, enter into meteor storms. And he said it's bringing great concern to the nations of the world. But he also talked about the fact that there was this image that appeared that was then scrubbed by NASA. But they missed one frame. And because of that, uh, Jesse and others have spotted it. Jesse uh, Waltman from BP Earthwatch, he spotted it because he's filming everything from all these different camera angles. And other uh, uh, amateur astronomers are doing it as well. And because of that, NASA fired four government employees for making this mistake. Listen to this conversation. We even talk about the black horseman of the apocalypse. So here we go. I'm on the phone taking a live call from a man I've never spoke to before in my life. A man by the name of Mike from around the world works for the federal government. 304, let me find that one. God bless. I mean, seriously, I, I'm really trying my best to help people understand uh, that we're living in the last days. God bless you, uh, area code 304. Are you there? Hey, Pastor Paul. How you doing? I feel great. I'm blessed and highly favored of the Lord. Who we got there? This is Michael from all over the world. Michael. And I'm, I, I first wanted to say it's it's a it's a blessing to hear you actually preaching, not being a compromised messenger, as we do here. But I called in. I wanted to comment. Um, the gentleman that was on there talking about Einstein. I wanted to comment to clarify something. In the public, comments are often revealed based on their optical relevance. In other words, um, they're not going to give you exact dimensions. So he was right in saying that they're, uh, in the background, they do limit the data that the public will get. Right. And so that's a, that's a uh, clue to that one. Yep. Also, also, with the information that you have been given, I often say one specific thing is that... Um, we know that the Lord will send certain people over into a strong delusion. A delusion being a belief held with strong conviction despite, despite evidence to the contrary. And what's happening now is, uh, first of all, people in a delusion don't believe they're in a delusion. Right. It evades them to understand that they're in a delusion. What I see happening now is we're giving them all these signs. And yet people are still looking for some type of scientific proof, but they really don't have a handle on what the real world is, basis what's been presented to them through science, through that educational institution. Um, and so the delusion is not coming. It has been formed and people are being drawn It's already it. here. It's already here. Okay. It's already here. The spirit yeah, is more and more every day. Yes, it is. Well, it's the same thing with... In, my humble opinion, the same thing would apply to Revelation. Many people are, when the horses ride, I hear many ministers say the horses are about to ride. But I do recall at the end of Revelation, Jesus saying, the time is at hand, which means it began 2,000 years ago. Yeah. But here's something interesting. The black horse with the scales. To me, it didn't actually mean an economic collapse, but it did mean to me that everything was going to be based on a global economy, which well, we have right now. You, what, it, what it meant was... One more government. The, you're exactly right. It meant was that the global economy would be in the scales of the hand of the black horse rider. There would be one entity controlling the balance of the economic scales. It would and not be just in the the hands of everyone, but there was a specific time when that black horseman would be carrying the balance of the economy in his own hand. And that would be, of course, when the beast is in full power and the Antichrist is leading the one world government 
or the New World Order, or as the Bible calls it, the Beast. And of course, he'll have a sidekick, the False Prophet. Let's listen more. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. And I also believe that those hidden things, see, things can be going on right now, but if they're hidden, people won't apply them. Now, the information you give out on a daily basis is strong evidence pointing towards many hidden things. And like right. you said the other day, which I really liked, even the animals are paying attention. They, they are, are obedient. Their actions are obedient. And we're given these signs, yet people still think we're going to face some type of uh, one ordered physical threat, and that's not the case. Um, another point I want to bring out is four people were relieved from NASA subsidiaries for that image that popped up. Really? That uh, he was talking about. So I think that will come out later, probably in some articles and so forth. Four people were fired over that one scrubbed image that got through that he's referring to. Yeah, that was um, that was actually intentional. However, unfortunately, when people do see things like that, they would uh, it's quickly washed away. And if the story actually pops out that those people were dismissed, then of course they're going to come back with something to draw people's attention away from any real threat. I would I would like when he comes back on to describe the way our solar system actually moves throughout the galaxy and why we can't see the southern regions uh, like we should because this is where most of the um, stuff is coming from. I'll put it that way. Most of the things are coming from our southern uh, our southern portions of the way our uni our uh, solar system is moving through the galaxy. And there's a buzzword going around. We um, Often, and I am on the government payroll, I'll just leave it at that, but meteor storms, not meteor showers, is a phrase being used more and more. It has heightened the order level of uh, many nations. Meteor storms is the buzzword that's being used more and more around. It has heightened the, uh, I believe you said the interest or the um, awareness of many nations. Now, just today, that was yesterday's live broadcast I do with a government employee calling in, giving us inside information that four NASA employees were terminated due to letting that object that Jesse Waltman at BP Earthwatch spotted on camera, as well as others. Uh, and because of that, NASA let four people go. This man says that also... There's a concern of meteor storms. And it's funny because today now is December 4th, 2013, and spaceweather.com just came out with their article, as they do every day, and it's called Germine, Germine Meteor Shower. Earth is entering a stream of debris from rock comet 3200, Phaeton, source of annual Germine Meteor Shower. Our planet is just dipping into the outskirts of this debris zone now, so visual meteor rates are low. Nevertheless, the Canadian meteor orbit radar is starting to pick up echoes from the germane meteoroids. This December 4th radar map shows a concentration of activity in the constellation Gemini. Uh, let me just say this. They're calling it showers. They're giving us a little heads up. We're getting ready to enter into it, but you heard what he said. It's not showers, Paul, anymore. We're getting ready to enter into meteor storms. That means a lots of asteroids and meteorites and a higher alert level. It's, make, it's giving the concerns of many nations. We're going to be talking about these things and a whole lot more, including the water turning blood red and the nations rising against nations and many other subjects today at our live broadcast. So don't miss it today from 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. Give your life to Jesus Christ.